Hey everyone, Tracy here. Have you been curious how to zoom in and out of a trading view chart? Maybe you can't find your candles, maybe they're not big enough. Let's take a look at how you can zoom in and out on a trading view chart. All right, it is time for another trading view tutorial. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified of future videos. Now today, what I want to show you is how to use the zoom in and out and the pan around feature inside of TradingView. Now, the first thing we're going to do once you have your chart open, is we're going to look along the bottom scale where the date and time is. And notice when I bring my cursor down, mine changes to a double arrow. If you click on that scale and drag to the right, you are going to bring more candles into view, making them smaller. And if you drag to the left, you're going to bring less candles onto the chart and make them bigger. The other way you can do the same thing is while you're on the chart, if you have a wheel on your mouse, if you scroll down, wheel that mouse down, You'll bring more candles onto the chart, making them smaller. And if you wheel up, you're going to bring less candles onto the chart, making them bigger. The second scale that I want to show you is the price scale along the right hand side. Now, again, my cursor changed as soon as I went over there. And if I click on it and drag down, I'm going to squish them together that way. And if I drag up, I'm going to make them taller. Okay. So there's that feature. Now, down in the bottom right hand corner, there's an auto feature. And if you want to bring them right back to the auto saw or the size that they should be, just click on that auto feature and it will adjust. So let's say I make these really small, click on the auto, it automatically readjusts them to the proper size or the size that fits nicely on the page. Now, what's the auto feature used for? If you have candles that are continuing, let's say this is trending and it's moving up, 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 as these candles start to go to prices that aren't showing on your price scale, the chart will automatically adjust to accommodate so that you always see your candles on the chart. Now, notice that when the auto feature is on, if I can go onto my chart, if I click on it, I can drag my chart right to left, but I cannot move it up and down. In order to move the up chart up and down, I need to take off that auto feature. So if I turn that off, click the chart and drag up and down, I can now do that. Once the auto feature is on again, I have no ability to move it up or down. It's locked. I can only go right or left. And again, you can unlock the auto feature as soon as you adjust the price scale. Notice the auto feature turned off. You can see that it's on with the blue and off with nothing. So as soon as there's nothing, I have that ability. Now, let's say that you go to this feature, the go to feature down in this corner and you type in a date. Let's just go random back. I don't know. Let's go to September of 2019. Let's go here. Notice when I did that, none of my candles are on the chart. It's like, okay, well, I don't remember what the price was in 2019. Candles aren't here. I don't know if they're higher or lower from where we are. Bring them back into your view by clicking the auto feature. As soon as I click the auto, it dragged them either up or down so that they're in view. Now, this is the date that I had selected. Notice that I'm not back to the beginning of the chart. I'm exactly where I wanted on the time scale, and that's perfect. But now let's say you want to get back to the beginning of the chart. Click on these two arrows down in the bottom right corner, and they'll drag you all the way back to the current day and time. Okay, so that is how you scale and pan around in trading view. Feel free to throw some comments in the chat below. And if there's any tutorials that you're interested in learning about, please throw them in the chat and I'll, uh, I'll try and get a video put together for it. All right. Happy trading, everyone. If you found value in this video, please remember to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Till next time.